There is growing concern tonight about what to do if someone you work with tests positive for COVID-19. And if you want to be cautious and take some time off, how should you handle your company saying you might not have a job in your return? KION's Max Tarleton joins us to explain your rights in tonight's message, Max. Aaron, good evening. For essential workers, the threat of the coronavirus has not gone away. And tonight, one Monterey County man worries he has to choose between his job or his health. At Santa Fe Foods in Castroville, one worker worries about going to work after a co-worker tested positive for COVID-19. They didn't tell us whether we had contact or not. They didn't tell us what it was. Uh, they just told us to act like nothing happened, basically. The worker didn't want to show his face and is going by Daniel to protect his identity. But he says he was notified by store management that an employee tested positive for COVID-19 on Sunday and was told it was his responsibility to get tested. I feel like that's kind of their responsibility. You know, like we're their workers, we're working under their store. They should probably take that responsibility of checking in on their workers, making sure none of them is also infected. He says his job was even threatened because of concerns. I was telling them that I didn't really feel comfortable working on there because who, who knows, maybe someone else is infected and we don't know because they don't want us to get tested. And they told us, well, you could stay home if you want, but you just won't have your job at that point. We reached out to Santa Fe Foods and have not yet heard back. We also contacted the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, or OSHA. According to their health guidance, employers should implement work policies that encourage sick employees to stay home with paid time off, increase sick leave, and job protection for those staying at home. And the Department of Labor's Families First Coronavirus Response Act requires certain employers to provide their employees with paid sick leave or expanded family and medical leave for specified reasons related to COVID-19. At today's news conference, Governor Gavin Newsom announced a strike team that will be designated to six regions in the state targeting companies who aren't complying with health orders. One should not have to put their life at risk to go to work as an essential worker. Now, the state of California Health Department declined to comment on this story, but instead sent us a link to information for employers and workers. That link can be found on our website under this story at KION 546.com. In the studio, Max Tarleton, KION News Channel 546.